Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again with an unusual unboxing. Stay planted to see what's inside. This is a very special package that came all the way from a mountain on Salt Spring Island in British Columbia. What makes this package so special is that it was sent to me from one of my brothers, Chris, who I have not seen in a very long time. I love and miss him so very much. All right. We both enjoy plants and I'm sure it stems from our father's love of them along with many hours spent on our family farms. Woo! Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, I'll pull this out here. We've got a few layers. It smells so fresh. You can smell the mountains. There's one layer. Now, I don't want to start pulling this apart. But I'm going to give you an up close view in one second. So I'm going to take some more out here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you an up close look here. Lichen, commonly known as old man's beard, from what I have read, is not really a plant, but the result of a partnership between fungus and algae. So unusual and beautiful. And you can see, let me show this one here. This would be a better specimen. Okay, show. And it hangs from the branch, like this, in the tree. And then it hangs all the way down like that. Okay, let's see the other layer here. I think this, oh, this might be easier to lift up with the lichen underneath of it. Yeah, okay. Now I'm not gonna toss this box because, well, maybe I will. Oop. There we go. Let's move these guys out of the way. Now here we have what I believe are wild stone crop along with some moss. He just pulled the whole layer right off. Look at that. Let's see if I can get in really close. You can still see the tiny flowers that grow up. Those might actually be seeds. Woohoo! <laughs> we all love seeds. They are so tiny that I imagine if you're out for a hike and are not looking closely, you may miss them. How adorable. They're a little fuzzy too. Oh, it's fantastic. I have a large glass aquarium I am repurposing as a terrarium and it's all set up and ready for some of these new ladies and gents. I will show that in a future video. I cannot thank my brother enough for these wonderful gifts. I'm extremely thrilled to have something that comes from where he lives and I hope to make it all thrive here. What's the most unusual plant you have in your collection or hope to have? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear about them. While you're down there and if you share a passion for plants like I do, please subscribe and smack that bell if you haven't already. I upload weekly and offer a variety of content for everyone to enjoy such as plant tips and tricks, classic movies and cartoons, recipes, reviews, and more. As always, please take care of yourself out there and much love.